Azaleas and soon. During the high summer, chances are folks will be stacked up ten deep at the row of windows at Ted Drew's frozen custard stand. I grew up in St. Louis and was weaned on Drew's custard. Whenever Suzanne and I return for a visit, we come here to sign books, see old friends, and of course, fill up on the ambrosia that Ted and his troops still create on premises. Ted's father really got the whole family business going way back when, uh, back in the early days, not too long after Route 66 was christened. That was, of course, 1926. So he's not tampered with the with the recipes or or the architecture. Those those wooden icicles that he keeps up there. It's not a cookie cutter kind of a place that you can find anywhere along the highway. There's only one Ted Drews, and it's the best. Just a short distance beyond Ted Drews wait more memories of the heyday of Route 66. Coral Court, just outside St. Louis City Limits, is a noteworthy survivor. This Art Deco motor court is currently closed, but it has been spared from the wrecking ball for now. There is no wonder that the streamlined, modern-style architecture with rounded, buff-colored walls, glass block windows, and lintels and parapets of red tile did a booming trade out on Route 66. Adjoining garages, which allowed guests to enter their rooms in complete privacy, also made a hit with couples interested in an illicit rendezvous, or smooth-talking salesmen who had gotten lucky for the night. The Coral Court was the proverbial no-tell motel, but one with a touch of class.